everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I took some wallpaper and made some collage wallpaper sheets for some journal covers that I want to make in the future and then also I use some of my jelly prints over Tyvek envelopes. I hope you enjoy! I wanted to try this. Um, I took a wallpaper. This is what this is. Pieces of wallpaper. So what my plan is to do is make a collage out of this wallpaper. It's really pretty. I mean I really don't have to do much to it but I will. Um, and make a collage out of it and then sew it. I'll probably cut it and then sew it because I don't, this will be a real, I don't know, we'll see how it goes because I'm not really a sewer but and I wanted to use it to make a journal cover but I had this really nice wallpaper and I thought well I am going to make strips and cut it up and see how it goes so I'll be right back. Now, I was going to tear it but then I thought, well, you know, maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to make it in strips. I just cut it. Let's see how it goes. The kind of different sizes of it. And I really don't know what pieces I'm going to use. But I'm laying these sheets down, these strips, I'm trying to figure out what colors I want to be the dominant colors, what designs the, do I want to be the dominant designs because later on I want to be able to take the flowers and the hearts and whatever else I see in there and bring it forward because I want to leave some as a background but I definitely want to bring some of these beautiful designs in this wallpaper and really um, exaggerate it and just use my creativeness to figure out how to get this all together and adding beautiful colors to this since it already has such lovely colors I wanted to add more of the same colors and bring out a lot of the little details and things that I just loved in this wallpaper so as I'm doing this I'm not just randomly it may look that way, but I'm not. I'm thinking about where I want to put these pieces and what colors that I want to be the dominant colors throughout this whole piece.
think the journals are going to be big. I think I'm going to do um, pretty, you know, little pocket journals, like so that if you want to take them on vacation, on a trip, in the car, maybe, you know, maybe I could get. Let me see what I have as far as I think I have some cut. This is the size that I was thinking. So I can probably get one, two, three out of here. Down there, and there's six. So probably, probably three books, three journals, front and back, because I want the front and backs to be the same. This size, which is. I don't have a clue because when I cut these, let's see, let's measure these. These seem to be they're four, four by six. So that's a nice little pocket size to do some doodling or some writing. Um, I may put some writing paper in these maybe um, for notes or, you know, I don't know, we'll see. See how that comes out. Let's see how I like the covers. And then I'll put them together. We'll see how that goes. But I can't wait to paint and do some stuff and doodles on this one, so. These are the papers that I'm going to be using for the next one. I thought they were so cute. Um, some oriental, looks like some nice little, oh, I can't think of those flowers, I can't think of the name of them, but that, this looks a little bit kind of African, and I, this, I wish you could feel this, this is, this is really textured, this is cool, put that in there somewhere. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Kind of embossed. And then some more of that. Something I that went together, I'm assuming. This must have kind of went leathery looking with the zebra. So I'm going to try to mix that all in there. I'm going to make a bunch of Strips again and see how that works out. And we'll see how that goes. I really like these. So we'll see how that goes. So I will cut up the strips and then come back. Working with this paper was a little bit more difficult. Uh, it had a lot more texture to it. So it was really hard to get it to stay down. And uh, it'll make a very interesting journal cover, but I don't know if I'm going to paint over it or add something to each piece and each journal once I get this all mounted on the, the chipboard. Uh, so I don't know when we do with this when I'm done with this one. It comes out really pretty. This is, I mean, you can actually just frame these things, you know, make a wallpaper collage and and just frame them. But for this, I really wanted to use these pieces that I'm making in this video for journal covers. So I just keep going with this. I'm layering and layering and just having a really difficult time with that one kind of paper. It's just so textured, but it's so cool that I have to add it in here. And I will probably put the wax over this too after I'm done cutting them out and putting it on the chipboard and then I'll wax over it with the cool wax just to keep everything nice and smooth
I just kept adding doodles, color, lots of different things and elaborating on you know the pictures that were already there and just bringing them forward and adding more to them. Uh, it was just lots of fun and just an idea you know that I had just to do something just creative and fun and just let yourself go and do whatever as long as you're adding color and doodles and stuff you can't really make any mistakes because it just comes out so pretty the more you do to it the prettier it gets so just have fun and enjoy yourselves On this one, I was going to put it on wallpaper, uh, wallpaper paper, uh, but then I decided I was, I have this book and it's by Beryl Taylor and she works a lot in uh, paper, uh, making paper to sew and that kind of thing. So, and she uses these envelopes and they are uh, DuPont. Tyvek, and they're like a silky, I know you've probably felt them, they're very silky feeling, uh, they're woven, so they're pretty strong. So what she does is, she takes it, you know, cuts it to size, I'm sure, uh, these are smaller envelopes, I'm sure there's bigger ones, but for this purpose, I don't need any big ones, so I'm going to, and then what she does is she coats this in glue, and what I'm going to do is, I'm either going to use decoupage or uh, my matte gel. So I don't know yet what I'm going to decide to use. And then she puts these on and glues them on and then she leaves spaces and we're going to do that and she puts tissue paper over and then she does a wash with paint. So we're gonna, I'm going to see how this goes versus doing it, you know, the other way with the um, <sighs> with the wallpaper like this one here and I have marked this one to cut so I'm going to cut it and then I will sew it but I wanted to get a few things together to sew before I start taking my sewing machine out because I'm really not a sewer so so that's what I'm going to do right now get that started and I don't know if I remember to say, but this is the jelly paper that I did. And I cut it up, and we'll see how this works with this. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use thinner paper. It doesn't really say. She just says um, paper. And um, I guess she said uh, paper that's not copyright. So this is my paper, so it is not. Not yet, anyway. Be, I guess it'll be my copyright paper. So I'm going to just layer this.
And you know what? I'm doing this and I'm not thinking. Let me get some. I'm going to put some sheet of wax paper on this board because I really don't want to get this board too messed up. I will be right back. going to do a color wash. I'm using the golden, the teal. I think I want to keep it in the blues. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Pretty. And I must say, I think that I will on that other one. I don't know if I'm going to do it on this one, but I bought this cold wax, and I think once that I sew that other one, I will actually go over it with a cold wax to seal everything. It's really nice feeling the cold wax. I mean, hot wax is nice, but I don't know how well that would be on a journal cover. But the cold wax is, it gives it a thinner coat and it keeps everything together. It's almost, almost like, uh, not polyurethane, but almost like a 
a decoupage thing, only it has a better feel to it, I think. And, um, okay, so I'm just going to let this, I guess, dry. Um, I like the blue in there. Let me add a little bit more blue. Let's see how this all dries. I do. I really wanted to keep it in the blue-pink kind of family. So it looks kind of cool. So I could either dry it or just let it air dry. Let's see. I'm going to go get my dryer. Stamping and trying to decide what I want to do. Um, I want to doodle on the page. Do I want to do it vertically like I did the other one, or do I just want to do some random designs all over? And I just kind of just did some random flowers and hearts and doodles, and it just really the colors just really popped and came out so pretty. Some of the markers didn't show up like on the other one but this was a little bit darker and the paper is a little you know a little different so I tried this green and it, it just didn't show up well this color did um, some of the markers showed up really good and then the Unipasco uh, markers worked really well and I just kept layering it with doodles and I just loved it you know it was a lot of fun so they're going to make very pretty journal covers in the end, once I get them. So that'll have to be another video because by the time I get these sewn and get that done, I'll have to do that in the next video. It would take too long. I'm not really a fantastic sewer. Never mind fast. I'm not. Um, so oh, that'll be in the next video. another one that I am doing on that same envelope material it's really nice it's very silky and this one I decide to not use the tissue paper and I rather uh, I get out my napkins and use the napkins that I have uh, that I had gotten at um, Tuesday mornings uh, there was a napkin swap going on with the KIF, and uh, I wasn't in it, but I did buy some napkins. Um, oh gosh, I have napkins from years ago, but these I bought recently. I was going to do the napkin swap, but I just didn't have the time with all the company that I was having, and I didn't want to start something and not be able to finish it. So the next time, hopefully, because I do like to work with napkins, I use them quite a bit in different projects.
love the way this one came out. I may wind up drawing a picture of a girl on this one. I don't know, but I really like that background with the Paris flare. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. If I'm going to cut it up as a journal. This one, I love the colors and I will cut this one up uh, for journal covers. I just, it's so happy and cool looking. So definitely this one was a blast. You know what I would really like? I would love to see any work done by you that I have inspired. I would just really love it if you guys would email me or some way uh, on my blog or anything, Facebook. Let me know um, if I inspired you and if you have any pictures of things that were inspired by me. I think that would be just fabulous because that's really why most of us make these videos is to inspire, to help other artists uh, create, get better at whatever they want to do and just or do something different. So if you can do that, that would be great. I'd appreciate it. This one I think I'm going to sew and I'm going to put beads on it. It's going to it's going to be cut up for journal covers and backs and I really like all the, the bright colors on this one too and the music notes. So definitely will be for journaling. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I inspired you and if I did and you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe. I love them. So, till the next time.